What's going on, guys? My name is Tenek127. I am here with my with my pal Red from Red's Third Dimension Gaming, and today we are bringing you guys chat and uh, podcast kind of deal about the some of the E3 press conferences. And right now we are doing um, PC ones, right? PC and Ubisoft, because okay. we both didn't really watch PC. Like the they had their own little briefing that I didn't personally see, but I saw some cool trailers that came out of it. That just felt yeah, it should get some coverage, but we don't have to talk about them that much because Ubisoft was such a huge conference. Yeah, Ubisoft was, was really big. <laughs> but um, were there any ones on PC that really appealed to you? Um, the main one that I liked was Observer, and it's made by the same people that created Layers of Fear. And that came out on PC originally, and then eventually came out on PS4 and Xbox One. It's a really awesome game. And this one is the same thing. It's very freaky. I had no idea what was going on. Same with that game. That game had a lot going on in it. It was right. it was unique that like everywhere you went, something changed. That's what I liked about it. Like it's kind of like PT, but like on drugs. <laughs> so it was like really weird and you had to finish like a painting I don't know what this one's going to be but the trailer looked awesome um, another one that I liked was Tyranny in that gameplay trailer yeah this game looked like it kind of played like uh, Diablo or something like that an over the top game it's made by Obsidian they worked on some games with Bethesda before it looked intriguing to me. <laughs> okay. And um, there was another game, Lawbreakers. I'm not sure if this is the game made by Epic or not. Do you remember this game at all? Yeah. Um, is this the Law Epic game? I think it's. I think it's by Epic Games. Um, that's the. Uh, the it's a shooter. Yeah, the hero shooter. That's mm -hmm. kind of like um, Overwatch on. To crack. me, it looked like Overwatch, but better. I actually yeah. like it. this one looked cool. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look bad. I will say it um it looks it looks pretty cool. It does um it does ditch that cartoony look that um mm -hmm. that Overwatch has. It definitely seems like it has a bit more of a wild character base. And uh, this is the one that Cliffy is working on, right? Cliff from the one that was originally working on Gears of War when it first came out. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. Yeah, him. and he usually makes pretty good games. I like I like him. He's funny, too. <laughs> um, yeah, so if there's any other PC games you guys know about and you would like us to talk about or you just thought were really cool, you can just comment below what you thought out of the PC market, what was really cool that was shown off at E3. Just go ahead and just leave a comment, and we'll give you our feedback on it. <laughs> <laughs> So next was the Ubisoft conference, which Aisha Tyler, she's been at every single like Ubisoft conference for a while now, and she came out with the F-bomb, and she was swearing, and she was fun. It's yeah. really awesome when she comes out. They always do their Just Dance intro, which that was mildly entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> and then they showed off... Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. One of my favorite games of V3 right now. So what did you think about them talking about the cartel and cocaine <laughs> in front of millions of people? <laughs> I thought it was very entertaining, but um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, when I look at it, um, did you have you played any of the Army of Two games by any chance? Yes, I have. I've played both, and I okay, like the hey. first one a lot. Yes, the first one was um was definitely my favorite. Um, did you get a chance to play the Devil's Cartel? I played it. I played it the whole way through on 360, and I played some on PS3. Okay. It's yeah. it's it's okay. I like the first one better. Yeah, definitely. Um, to my opinion, Wildlands is the Devil's Cartel freaking perfected. But um, of course, you know you got the four player co op open world thing going on. I just love how they give you the option to take on all kinds of missions. And these graphics were amazing. 
Holy, yes. they were. They released a 4K trailer, which most companies don't do that. They release like 1080p, 720. This was released in 4K and it looks beautiful. So I'm assuming it's going to look gorgeous on PC. And if 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 the consoles can do 4K, I have no idea what they're capable of right now. But if they have 4K when this game launches, it's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking great. But um after watching that gameplay reveal and that whole mission and you know how that um how those oh. four guys had to coordinate as a team, you know, to take care of those. Oh, that co-op was awesome. <laughs> yeah, the co-op to that game is just perfect. The the the, the tactical style, you know, the strategic gameplay, the, the teamwork, it's all just it, it's it's on point. And you know, the the multiple different approaches you can take to all kinds of missions and different situations, and the the intelligence of the AI was just just awesome too you know how you know the the enemy that they were after actually you know just ran off and they literally had to chase the guy you know all around the the open world and then come to find out you know when they're getting ready to escape the dude gets back up and everything it was just well, i was just completely blown away by that game hands down that was my favorite one at the, at the ubisoft press conference now the next game that i want to talk about is south park I have like fallen out of love with South Park. I used to think they were so funny in the show, and then it kind of got same thing with the Big Bang Theory. Um, in a lot of shows, they try to find like whatever's the most popular topic, and they try to make it funny and like relevant stuff. Big Bang Theory. When I was watching older episodes, it was about like their relationships and some minor humor here and there about that it was really funny same with south park used to be really funny when they made fun of each other and they didn't worry about worldwide hot topics that's what they do now but this game as a whole i think it it's going to be a fun adventure it takes place after the first game where spoiler they you become king of like whatever that that was like a fantasy realm one and this one you're trying to find your own alter superhero ego so this one's all about superheroes and did you watch it at all like the press conference on this part yeah i watched some of it i didn't get it it was really funny and like cartman's rude and hilarious and even to Kyle that's what I loved about this game he always made fun of Kyle and Kyle always made fun of him and they're talking about uh, one of the adventures that you go on is helping the gay fish <laughs> the gay fish's uh, mother mother, get to heaven and if you haven't watched South Park uh, with Kanye West they made fun of him being a gay fish <laughs> because um uh, he like fish sticks, fish sticks. <laughs> that joke. <laughs> yeah, that was a really funny episode. But I really liked what they tweaked with the combat. You can um, now move enemies, uh, push them out of the way. You can their your powers. You can like use like a lightning bolt attack if like there's an object in your way. Like if there, before you couldn't like hit someone. Now you can use like a sure. lightning attack or something, and you can get over obstacles instead of just like not being able to hit the other character so it had some neat little gameplay elements and they kept it turn-based which i love and i don't think this one's restricted just to uh one little area this is there's a lot of different areas in this game and the final thing i loved about this was that if you pre-order it right now you can on Steam, PS4, and Xbox One, you can get the Stick of Truth on any of those consoles, which they weren't they weren't on Xbox One or PS4. No. So you get them free. You get that original game free if you pre-order it. I believe it's probably going to be on the network. If it's if you can get the physical copy like of uh, this game, and then get a digital version of those games i think that would be cool too either way i might pre-order it just be to play the stick of truth on the, my <laughs> ps4 because that sounds so cool and it comes out yeah. in december 
So at Christmas time, all these parents are going to be buying South Park for their kids. It's them for mature. And yeah, they said the F-bomb and different things. So <laughs> yeah, it looked interesting. I really want to see what happens next. And this might make me like the TV show, but the TV show is the same as what it is, has has been last season. Uh, I don't know. But I might just, I'll just play the games instead then. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, did you uh, play the original? The original, no. The Stick of Truth. It's a really yeah. fun game. Um, yeah. If, that's, did you ever that's see the? Uh, did you ever see the South Park episode? It was like an hour long. It was like about uh, Black Friday. No, I never got to see that one. Okay, it, this was pretty much kind of like that, like fantasy. Like Kenny turns into a Japanese princess, and different things. <laughs> it, yeah, this is kind of like that realm. It's the fantasy realm and that one was cool and they have different adventures it's really cool and you're the new guy and this one you can even create like your own superhero like what you're gonna look like what abilities you have like you could be super fast was what i think they showed off on the thing which was cool i like that and then mysterion and um he gets pissed off at cartman and or the coon but yeah there's really there's some fun stuff in there (laughs) Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that one out because um, the Stick of Truth that one was a RPG as well, right? Yeah, and then if you buy this one, boom, you get this one right away. That's what they say, anyways. I don't know. I guess it's probably whenever PlayStation Store updates because we still can't get Resident Evil Seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally <laughs> Resident, Evil, Resident Evil right now as we record this. There's still there's Capcom some... said we were gonna be able to play it tonight. Capcom Apparently not. Well, PlayStation, Sony said. I don't think Capcom yeah. said that. I think it was, yeah, yeah, it was Sony. So Sony, you're screwing us right now. <laughs> House, you dirty mother. <laughs> and then the division. They talked about. This is where I tuned out in this conference about the division. I just didn't care. They talked about it again. Like we already heard about it in the Microsoft conference. So they talked about it again. They showed some trailers and different things. Um, after that, they showed an Eagle Flight, which I thought was pretty cool. This is their first VR game they showed off. And, yeah, it was okay. It was, it wasn't the best thing. It was just okay. And even that, uh, Tyler woman, she said that it, she played it back when it was an alpha stage. And she said, even when it was a bad game, (laughs) one stage in front of all these people, she said she still had fun with it. But... Yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> what did you think about the VR stuff? There, um, the Eagle one, I had actually um missed, but I'm currently looking at the. It it was yeah. okay looking. Yeah, it looks it looks alright. Kind of. If it was a cheap title, maybe, and then like yeah. I wouldn't pay like fifty bucks or anything for me. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't buy this for. for full Hopefully, it'd be like a ten dollar or five dollar game or something, or maybe come with the VR whenever it gets out and then they came out with a Star Trek game which I think it's awesome for Star Trek fans but to me I wouldn't really care that much if it's just playing in the spaceship but if you're going around and like actually searching within the Star Trek realm of everything then yeah I think that's pretty cool yeah, there's a lot of Star Trek stuff going, going if it's, on. If it's, a... if it's just the spaceship stuff, I don't know. But that's all they shared. They didn't share too much of that. Uh, from what I've seen, I didn't watch. I was watching on and off. But what I saw was from the spaceship. And they had the original Star Trek guys on stage. And they thought it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so the next game was For Honor. Which this game I thought was awesome. A lot of people were comparing it to Rise, but I thought this like they showed the 4K. They showed a huge trailer. Oh, this was the 4K trailer. I don't even think Wildlands was the 4K one. This was the 4K one. This oh, nice, one had a 4K nice. trailer, and this one was really, really gorgeous. And I think it looks cool. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed mixed with Rise, and maybe God of War, the new God of War. But yeah, this one looked really cool. But uh, yeah, it was it was definitely a, um, a gorgeous looking game. I like the environments, the textures, the um... Oh, so that, that trailer actually was in 4K? Yeah, there's a trailer for it in 4K if you look at, uh, I think it's on Ubisoft's... You have to look up 
Ubisoft specifically. I think it's either the trailer or the gameplay video. One of the two, I think, were 4K. Yeah, I did notice it looked exceptional. But they show, like, the water, him drinking oh. out of the water, and the water looks real. Like, the dirt looks real. Everything looks really good. Like, the characters don't look as real as, like, the, the environments, but the environments look amazing. It's fantastic. I'd say that game looked better than Uncharted 4, and that's like one of the best games I've seen, just graphically. But I don't know, the gameplay isn't going to look as good as the cutscenes, cinematics. And then they showed some stupid game, Grow Up, instead of Grow, like the sequel to Grow Home. Did you play that on PlayStation Plus? Grow Home? No, I actually never got to try that. I hated it, but um, maybe some people did. They liked <laughs> it. I don't know. It... It didn't, I hated it. <laughs> but they showed some of that. It's called Grow Up. Um, it's a sequel to that game. And they showed Trials of the Blood Dragon. I was hoping for maybe a new Far Cry Blood Dragon, but they sh they mixed it together with Trials, which they're like the little four-roller dirt bike side uh, games. And they mixed it with the Blood Dragon and made it cool looking. That was That was neat. <laughs> What do you think of the Assassin's Creed movie that was shown off then? Mm, I've never been personally too much of a big fan of Assassin's Creed, but I will say that movie looked um looked pretty cool. I think uh two movies I definitely want to see. This um, trailer I think looked better than the first trailer. I like this one. Like the I whole... didn't yeah, I didn't get to see the first trailer, but I definitely do want to see that and um also, uh, Final Fantasy 15 King's Glaive. I'm definitely put yeah, there's a, there's a movie version of Final Fantasy 15 something. Like, a th was it three hours long? Yeah, I think so. And that has uh, people from Game of Thrones and different actors in it. So that one would be pretty cool. I don't know if I can find a buddy or something. <laughs> Most of my friends aren't into video games that much. That's why I tend to play with people online. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and then they showed off uh, Watch Dogs 2, which this looked cool. I liked it. Yeah, I do. I, um, I actually played the Platinum, the original. Really? Watch Dogs. Yeah. Watch Dogs was uh, This one has really? a black uh, protagonist. <laughs> which, the prototype, I don't. Like, prototype 2, they went that route, but I don't know what they did with that game. I don't know. Prototype 2 wasn't that good. But hopefully this one, it looks it looks good. So Yeah, it, look, it looks promising. It does look like they're gonna um they're making some improvements on some of the complaints with the with the first one. The Is only... there co-op in this one? I'm not too sure. Not that I, I can't um... remember if they had it or not. They're showing yeah, in something. The, in, the, in the original they had um versus multiplayer modes and then there of course, you know, while you were playing the game, people could invade your world and Oh. And hack you. Oh, cool. Like kind of <laughs> like a like a dark, like an urban Dark Souls kind of thing, which was awesome. I dedicated my life <laughs> to just PVPing in that game for a long while. <laughs> so then, I think the last thing they showed was Steep, which was if you ever played SSX, it's a snowboarding game. Okay, Which, that's what Steep was, because I saw trailers for it, but I didn't exactly get to see what Steep You're like, was. what is this? <laughs> yeah, it's like a... Uh, it has skiing, uh, wing gliding, uh, snowboarding, and parasailing. And, yeah, it, it was neat. I didn't expect to see that, but, yeah, that'll be out. It'll probably be like SSX. Like, SSX dropped to $40 real fast, like, after a month or so and then that then it dropped even lower so this will probably do the same as that it's it's a very small audience for that type of a game but yeah it looked right. okay and my favorite thing out of this conference was for honor and the south park what, what did you like the most did you like the ghost recon i'm, I'm assuming oh yeah ghost recon and and watchdogs were my two but they didn't have a whole lot of like horrible things in this conference a lot of it was good yeah yeah the ubisoft's conference i definitely liked it a whole lot very solid and this is i'm, I'm going a little steep here but i'm going to honestly rate them um a solid a solid nine 
That's what I was like, gonna rate them too. <laughs> like like their game variety, they um they showed you know the stuff that they've been teasing teasing the most. Their most two anticipated games were um our Ghost Recon. Um, I was gonna say the Division, but that's already out. Uh, they did update people on the division because even though the division hasn't had the greatest time, it still does have a, have a pretty heavy fan base. So the fact that you know they're still displaying that during their conference is great. Um, Watch Dogs, everyone's been waiting for for that and um, the improvements with it and stuff from the first. And I honestly think they're doing a great job. So big kudos to Ubisoft for for their conference. I think they did a really great job. Hmm. Yeah, I thought they did a great job. I would uh, give them a 9 as well. They showed a lot of variety, um, a lot of new gameplay, and a lot of new content. And I wasn't expecting it. Like, for Honor, I wasn't expecting that game at all. Unless they already showed some of it before, but that was the first time I've ever seen that game. And it was amazing. And they showed some VR, like what the future of gaming. Hopefully it's not a phase. <laughs> and it gets cheaper, but like a lot of the motion control stuff phased out real fast. I'm hoping VR sticks around and gets better as it goes on and then cheaper so that I can buy it, not just like the rich kids. <laughs> but yeah, I'd give it a 9. So that was our coverage on Ubisoft and a little bit of PC. Like I said, if you want to comment below pc games that you thought were awesome just go ahead and leave a comment um don't forget to like the video and thank you for being here tenak and yeah see you guys later